Eric Bennett is trying to save history, a very dark side of history. This is a good uh, eight feet down. In the late 1800s, you could find insane asylums all over the United States. At its peak, they held a half million Americans. People from all walks of life. It could be the rich, it could be the poor. But for instance, in West Virginia, you could actually sign your wife into the insane asylum because she wasn't being obedient to you. Electric shock therapy and lobotomies were common. The transorbital uh, lobotomy would go through the actual eye sockets with ice picks. All of these mental hospitals have stories to tell. The Forest Haven Asylum in Laurel, Maryland was closed in 1991. Many of the patients were buried in a mass grave. I would not be surprised if there are some lingering souls around here. Today, asylums across the United States are being torn down or left abandoned. For the past 20 years, Eric Bennett has been capturing as much history as he can before it's gone. He spends a lot of his time trespassing. Oh, so you just listen to the silence and you think of like all the patients in here. Bennett also spends a lot of time trying to stay alive. In the dark, you can get very creeped out because you don't know necessarily where you're going. These old hospitals are filled with lead paint, asbestos, and huge holes. Uh, after the years, you get to know what the limits are. Uh, actually, this is like the limit right here, considering both sides, uh, there's no floor. Most of the old asylums have their own cemeteries. This one in New York State is full of children. It's quite sad past. The graves don't have names just numbers. Uh, the number corresponds to a record, but in many cases those records have been lost. Eric Bennett admits his passion to document these old structures is a bit crazy, but it just might take a little craziness to show us part of our country's insane past. In Poughkeepsie, New York, Scott Rensberger, WUSA 9 News.